Ariel Hawani at the All-State U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame tribute in Vancouver, B.C. with Peggy Fleming, the 1968 gold medal winner in figure skating who was honored earlier this morning. And uh, Peggy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Great to have you here. Uh, you were honored earlier this morning, a beautiful uh, portrait. You signed it. How does this make you feel? It, it's um, an honor to be a part of, you know, the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame and All-State, you know, presented this artwork and I think it's a, a great way to um, honor our athletes and when I'm honored to be a part of the group. You won your gold medal over 40 years ago, yet you are still a huge inspiration. <laughs> yes, I, you know, I didn't want to get specific. But, yeah, uh, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. But you're still a huge inspiration. You're one of the Thank biggest you. stars ever in the history of the uh, Winter Olympic Games. Does it ever get old being uh, you know, showered with these accolades, tributes, and all that? Well, it's always nice to be remembered. And um, you know, it changed my life winning this Olympic medal. And I'm grateful. And I still get excited to see the new champions come and, and do things with their sport and inspire other people. So that's what the Olympics are, are about, is inspiring people that watch it. And you know, participating in, in sports is, is a great way to you know, have a healthy life. You've been at the games for a while now. Um, yes, since the beginning. Since the beginning. <laughs> we'll talk about your, 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 you know, the beginning of the games for you. But first, I, I'm curious about the difference between, you know, the games now and back then, 1968. For those that obviously weren't there to partake in it, how different was it in terms of the hoopla and all that? Well, it's a lot bigger now. <laughs> it's a lot bigger. A um, lot more media. But, you know, in perspective, when I was 19, it seemed big enough back then. Um, but... I think the athletes are here to focus and, and do what they do best and uh, you know try not to get too distracted. It's, it's hard to do, but that's part of the, the training is to be able to focus under pressure plus all the distractions. So I think they're, they're doing well, and skating has been a, a great event so far, and I think we could possibly medal um, tomorrow night in the ladies' event. Has Vancouver been a good host in your opinion? Oh, absolutely. They made it happen. Even, you know, in the rain, <laughs> they, they made the snow happen where it needed to be. And I think the venues, um, you know, were in good condition for the athletes. And that's what, what it's all about. Obviously, the games got off to a bit of a tragic start with the death of the Georgian loser. And then a few days later, we hear Peggy Fleming involved in a car accident and Joe Biden's motorcade. Everyone was like, these games are cursed. What exactly <laughs> happened and how are you feeling? Well, it was an unfortunate accident. It happened pretty quick. Um, you know, we just got hit from behind. Uh, the motorcades traveled real close together. And, you know, they took really good care of us. We just were jolted quite a bit. Um, but went to the hospital, checked us out. I'm fine have a little bruise but um, it was very cool to hang out with the vice president yeah, what's he like he's very approachable very real he was here with his wife uh, Jill and uh, their boys and grandkids so we got to hang out in Whistler and have cheeseburgers and so we're just like this now is he a big figure skating fan He's going to be. <laughs> he better be. Turn him around. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about figure skating. Obviously, on Tuesday, we saw a lot of inspiring performances. I think the most inspiring one was uh, Joanny Rochette. Uh -huh. Obviously, yeah. we know, you, you know your mother was a huge part of your life, mm -hmm. and uh, what she's had to deal with has been unbelievable. Uh -huh. Can you even put yourself in her shoes and, and try to imagine what she's going through? I can't. I can't imagine. Um, but I think everyone in that building tried to help her through this. And I think her training, um, being able to focus under pressure, but that was like off the charts pressure to deal with the loss of, of your mother and so suddenly and, you know, two days before you compete. That's, that's a real strong individual. She learned a whole lot last night. So I hope she can keep it together for the long program. I think the whole country, the whole world is behind her to do her best and, and get her through this. How do you think she'll finish? I think she could possibly medal because she's a beautiful skater. Um, and she's got the jumps, um, but she's got to hold it together for longer than two minutes or two and a half minutes, like, like the short program. So it's, it's harder to, to keep that focus for such a long time. But um, I'm going to be pulling for her to do her best and uh, stay strong. A lot of people have said that, you know, um, American fans wouldn't be into the figure skating this year because there was no darling such as yourself. What is your take on the current state of, um, especially for women's figure skating in America? Is this just a transitional period? Are they, you know, expecting too much from these stars? What is your take? Well, I think it is in transition. We're building um, up the U.S. Um, skating talent. Um, Mariah is only 16 and... Um, 
Uh, Rachel is only 17, so they have a lot of good years ahead. So I think this is a wonderful showcase for our sport. And, you know, we've given great performances in the dance um, with Davis and White. And Evan Lysacek was just amazing. Um, so I think the ladies' event is um, going to do very well, and we could possibly medal. Yeah, Rachel finished fifth. Uh, Mariah finished sixth. Do you think uh, one of them will get a medal? Um, I think one of them might. I really do. Um, you just never know how people are going to handle the nerves uh, at the final program and how they can hold it together for four minutes. So anything, anything can happen. Okay, That's what's so exciting, though, isn't it? It is. <laughs> and it goes down on Thursday. Okay, final question I just have to ask. Blades of Glory, what was that like? <laughs> that was uh, incredible stuff, and uh, everyone was very excited to see you part of it, let's be honest. I know. I, I was, that was really fun. So, um, and he's a very funny guy. And Will Ferrell. Yeah. Good Will skater? Um, I think he probably needs to practice just a little bit more. Maybe some lessons might help. But um, he was not shy about getting in those spandex costumes, so we have to give him credit for that. <laughs> All right, Peggy, well, pleasure to meet you, and uh, enjoy the rest of the games. Thank you very much.